Good evening, guys. Steve, Dovetails and Dados. I just wanted to take a quick minute this evening and show you guys how I am assembling these little boxes I've been working on. I was commissioned to do 50 of them. They're four inches by four inches by six inches, and they're only an inch tall, so they're really small. Um, I was struggling quite a bit with how to assemble these until I remembered that my dad had told me quite some time ago a pretty neat trick. He builds a little passive uh, smartphone amplifier that's got a horn on it that's got some crazy miters. And I remember him telling me to, that he uses blue tape to, to assemble them. So I decided to give that a try. First time I've ever done this, used this technique, and I've been really impressed with it. I'm, I've built, I think, 30, 32 of these little boxes. So I've gotten familiar with it over the last day. But uh, it's pretty simple. You want to go ahead and, and final sand and possibly even finish the insides of your box, depending on the project. Um, the customer I'm doing these for, he's doing all the finishing because he's doing some flocking or felt on the inside of the box. So I don't have to worry about that, but I did go ahead and sand it down to 220 uh, just to get it nice and smooth for him. So then you take your, your uh, all the pieces of your box, whether they be longs and shorts or squares, and you put the inside of the box down on a flat surface with a nice straight edge. And then you tear off a piece of blue tape, and honestly, I've had a couple pieces of the blue tape not want to stick, and I think that was probably because of dust. Um, I would maybe look for a tape that's just slightly more aggressive. Uh, I haven't researched it to see what's out there, but uh, I'd maybe try to do something that's just uh, a little more aggressive. Not so much that you damage pieces when you peel it off but but uh, anyway so then you just start taping your joints up you want to press down on the tape real good I've learned that that helps keep it in place you want to make sure everything each joint that you're taping stays square. I've also learned that you want to have the uh, two bevels matching as closely as possible. You don't want them overlapping because when you go to to, to fold the piece up, that tape does stretch. And I, I had a couple of them that weren't quite flush and they pulled apart. So I had to go back and re redo those. And once you have all your joints taped, you go ahead and put tape on the end, which will finish the corner off. And once you have that all in place, you flip the whole string of them over. And you take your glue bottle. Put just a little glue in each joint. I've learned that it pushes out of that joint pretty easily. You get a lot of squeeze out. So try a couple of them, but be pretty uh, conservative with your glue. Once you have your glue in place, the technique is pretty simple. You just Start folding it up. Get your corner, your final corner in position. And then tape it down. Now, in theory, that should be perfectly square and they are coming out pretty close. Um, missed a step. Go ahead and take a, a little glue scraper and get all the stuff out of the inside as you can. It's a lot easier to get it out now and then just have to scrape a little bit out than trying to 
uh, take the chunks out after it dries. Okay, so that one is good to go. And then I still had the problem of, okay, how do, how do I confirm that those are 90 degrees all the way around? And that's where I went to, back to my miter sled. So what I've done is I am using the inside corner of it along with a few little scraps of wood and a wedge and using that as my 90 degree clamp. It puts pressure on all four corners and uh, let it set in there for 20-30 uh, minutes and then I go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, all in all, it's pretty quick. It uh, seems to be a great little tip. I'm glad I tried it. Uh, it. I've never ran into the situation where I'm trying to glue just straight miters like this on this small of a piece. Generally, I would use a uh, locking rabbit or some other type of joinery that would uh, you know, help keep things square and, and in place during the glue up and assembly. So anyways, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and maybe you can put it to use on your next project. Take care and we'll see you next time.